Hi, Fred. Oh, whoops, hold on. There you go. Cute as a button. You did the video call anyway, uh, Conference of the Birds, about things that we say like ums and ahs and anyway. So, and, you know, I say that a lot. And when I first started making YouTube videos, I really tried not to. And if I, if I said an um or an ah, or at least more than a couple, I would stop it and restart it. And then I stopped, well, I guess there were some videos where I thought it was important, I wanted to get a point across, and I pretty much knew what I wanted to say. Uh, but other videos, I was just like trying to wonder about things. I'm like, how can I ask this question? Um, how much of this question do I need to ask? What examples do I need to give? And it kind of reminded me uh, when I was like um and on of uh, a bit of Cannery Row where uh, a character called Hazel, uh, Hazel's mind was described as a uh, big warehouse full of uh, uncategorized uh, exhibits. And so I think my ums and ahs are me wandering through the warehouse of my mind. Like, wait a minute, is it down here? Oh, wait a minute. Some of it's down here, but is that important? Maybe if I, because I got, if I go over here, isn't I think I might have something that would like, you know, make my point better. But sometimes while I'm wandering around, and I've I've seen it in a lot of my videos, and this is what really changed my mind about the ums and the ahs and the anyways and the so, uh, is I'd go, um, oh wait a minute, actually. I, th I think what it is is, and uh, said that I'd come to some sort of conclusion, and uh, so I, 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 I just imagine it as being, I've, I've come to different intersections in my mind in the big warehouse. I'm looking left, right, forward, and backwards, wondering, where are those boxes with the pictures of clouds? Where's those files with ink blots? And is, where's the star chart? Because like random patterns that make images are pretty much what I'm trying to track down and explain some meaning out loud so I can have some understanding myself. And then I'm like, wait a minute, uh... <laughs> and then uh, I, I stumble upon some meaning. At least some meaning that I, uh, you know, at least some meaning for me. So, actually I just did a video where I was uh, um and on like crazy. And uh, essentially what I was asking about was, um, someone recently said, we all pretend to be somebody who we're not. And uh, the same person also said, telling lies is easier than telling the truth. And so I thought, who, who do I know that might talk about this? Who, who do I know that might pretend to be somebody that they're not? And I thought about a silly old dude living in Japan, and uh, I wanted to, I wanted to try to get his perspective on it, because um, I guess I, I kind of wonder like who who and why why would you pretend to be somebody you're not? And I thought, well, if you're a, a parent, have kids. Uh, you want the other parents to see you as a certain way. You want the people in the school to see you as a certain way. You probably want your kids to see you in a certain way. So you probably have this idea, this image, or this facade, uh, or who you want to be for them, and you try to be that. And just like silly old dude, you'd probably be uh, going to work or, uh, or doing whatever in Japan. Um, he would want to be perceived as as this thing. And so I get... I, I, I kind of get why somebody would want to do that. I wonder. Uh, <laughs> I wonder about the the benefits slash dangers. But I kind of wonder. Somebody else said recently, uh, we all we are our memories, and I, I replied that we are our reactions to our memories. So I can. I can't pretend to be somebody I'm not uh, for a specific purpose, and that won't really change me because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm react. I am reacting, and that's not going to change. I'm reacting to outside influences, or I'm reacting to the perception 
that I feel is important that other people have because I'm a judge or um, because I want I want uh, to come I want to come across and be um, like a good parent or uh, a good CEO or something like that. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> That's my thoughts on the ums and the ahs, and uh, some more thinking on uh, lies and uh, facades. So Fred, it was good to see you in the tubes. It was excellent to have you bring up a topic that I could actually reply to. <laughs> so, but, like Laura, Leah, Laura Layla put a, a rock out on her porch, I could do that. And uh, uh, Piro uh, talked about honesty, and I could do that. So got, uh, got some excellent vid response possibilities out there. So I'll see you in the tubes, Fred.